Sega. Rome 2 is going to be an absolutely massive game. It is by far the biggest and best Total War game ever. And that's bigger in terms of the scale of the maps, the scale of the armies, the scale of the cities you'll be fighting over. You can go from the sea to the land and have massive combined battles. Uh, Carthage is on the North African coast. It's quite, it's quite a long way from, from Rome, but at the time it was a major trading sea power and, and a, a really big rival to, to Rome. Carthage was a huge problem for Rome because it had an empire which dominated not only North Africa, but also Spain. At one point, the Carthaginian armies got very close to dealing a lot of damage to Rome, and they thought it was about time that this should all come to an end. Because Rome was really on the cusp of uh, losing the war to Carthage, so they had to come up with a master stroke. The siege of Carthage had been going on for several years, so Scipio was sent to break it. Scipio was a renowned Roman general in charge of this attack, the final assault on Carthage, um, and his orders were to annihilate the city. We had to build a massive city, much bigger than anything we've built before. Now, one of the problems we have uh, depicting huge cities like Carthage in a game is, is now, on the one hand, you've got to be faithful to what the place was actually like, but on the other hand, it has to fit into the context of the game. We had to come up with a convincing way of having the, the ships landing on the shore and make it look really cool. There are trade-offs. There are trade-offs between depicting it at exactly the correct scale and, and making a game that's actually playable. Seals on me! The total number of units you can control in the battle will be uh, 40, and this includes combined land and naval forces for the first time. So there's a lot more going on, there's, there's more to see, there's more, there's more terrain to cover, um, there's more places to hide stuff. Um, it can be enormously difficult to keep track of 40 units at the same time. So what we've done is uh, created a tactical map. It's been something we've wanted to put in the game for quite a few titles now, but it's never quite been right. So some people might think that putting a tactical map into the game may make it too easy. You can't actually control units from that level. Uh, it's very much a tactical overview. It's really a, a great orientation tool, um, and it's something that the players have been you know, crying out for for years, and we're finally delivering it. The tactical map really helps you keep track of where things are, uh, where you are, where the enemy is. So for the next Dev Diary, we're leaving the shores of the Mediterranean behind. We're going to go into the forests of uh, Germania and Gaul, and we're going to be looking at uh, barbarians. 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 Rawr! No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Cut that. The Siege of Carthage vision was done pre-alpha, so it's a very early stage of development, and a lot's changed since then. So at that point, we put in we got the unit looks in to create diversity and look good, but it wasn't with the final system. As we release more art for Rome 2, you will see this difference between what we showed in Carthage and what the units will look like in the final game.